when Jesus got off the cross, went to preach to the captains in Hades or Sheol, um, my question is, what happened to the next 20 generations where uh, the word wasn't out around the world yet? Um, are those folks going to be risen up uh, for the Bema seat? Or are they going to uh, be first when we're raptured? Or are they going to have to sit and wait till the end of the millennium and uh, for judgment at the great white throne? So I'm, I'm talking about the folks that uh, – that were born after uh, Jesus went to uh, preach, so to speak, to the captives. After Jesus died, rose again, and then ascended to heaven, we then have the time of Pentecost, and they're filled with the Holy Spirit. The gospel message starts in Jerusalem, then Judea, Samaria, the uttermost parts of the earth, and people are being saved. And the Bible says when someone dies as a believer, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So you immediately will find yourself in heaven. Now, we're going to get our, our glorified bodies for the heavens and the earth at the rapture of the church. All previously, the, every, every believer that has died before the rapture, they're waiting for that glorified body. Now, they are, they're spirit and soul in heaven. They're, they're, you're, they're recognizable. Uh, for example, uh, Elijah and Moses were recognizable in the Mount of Transfiguration, so the, they are recognizable. We have Jesus tell the historical story of Abraham and the poor beggar Lazarus and the rich man, they were all recognizable. And so when we go to heaven, we'll all be recognizable, but we are going to get this glorified body that we'll need when we return with the Lord at his second coming to reign and rule with him for a thousand years. So uh, there's a bit of a misnomer that people think that when believers die, they go to soul sleep, which is a total false doctrine, or or they, you know, they're just waiting in purgatory, which is another false doctrine. Uh, or they're in limbo, which is another false doctrine. But the Bible says to be absent from the bodies to be present with the Lord. And that's found in Second Corinthians chapter 5, as well as in Philippians and so forth. So, Mike, I'll hand it over to you. What about people who die uh, that have not heard about Jesus Christ? Where do they go when they die? Uh, and, of course, waiting the great white throne judgment. Um, uh, you know, it, it, the Bible says, when you seek me, you'll find me when you search for me with all your heart. I, I think it's really amazing how I've talked to people that found the Lord. Actually, the Lord found them uh, as they began to seek him. Uh, people that are in even cults, Islam and other things, uh, when they really say, I want to know who you are, God, that God has even revealed himself in dreams. But the question I believe Joel had was, where do people go that being because there's no Abraham's bosom now, where do people go that did not or has not heard the name of Christ? Uh, your thoughts? Well, when people die without Jesus, without belief, faith in God, and the Lord Jesus Christ, they would go to a place called Hades. And Hades is the holding tank for all non-believers throughout all of human history. And that there'll come a time when they're going to be brought forth to the great white throne judgment of God that's at the end of the millennial reign of Christ, and they will be judged for all their sins. The Bible says books will be opened on their lives, and every sin they've ever committed, every time they've rejected God as God was ministering to their hearts and revealing himself to them, it's all going to be recorded. God has a—we we talk about RAM, you know, for computers, random access memory. He's got the random access memory in books on each each person's life, and it's all going to be revealed at that great white throne judgment, and then for what they've done against God or against humanity, they'll be judged for and cast in the lake of fire, and they'll receive that much judgment. Uh, lake of fire we commonly call hell. But um, so this is what the outcome will be for them. So right now when someone dies without God, without Christ, that is, they go to Hades, and they're waiting for the judgment to, of the great white throne. And then they're, they're actually being tormented now, but the torment will be even greater as they find themselves being cast into the lake of fire and hell.